Have you had a sinus infection this year? The symptoms are pressure around your eyes and your cheekbones, clogged nasal passages, yellow, green, ugly, nasty discharge from your nose and the back of your throat, fatigue, a decreased sense of smell and taste, and possibly a fever. Now the root causes of sinusitis can be bacterial, viral, fungal from their upper respiratory infections. You can also be from allergies or irritants like pollution or tobacco smoke. Food allergies can also cause them, as well as injury like pressure changes you get when you're flying or diving. Now a good way to tell if you have a sinus infection is to bend over at the waist with your head down. Now, if you get a pressure and discomfort around your cheekbones and your eyes and you have these other symptoms, then you probably have sinusitis. So you may go to your doctor and get a course of antibiotics, hoping to get rid of the darn thing. Now, that's how it works. After 10 days, your symptoms are much improved. So you're thinking to yourself, those antibiotics really worked well. And you might even remind yourself to take them sooner next time so you suffer less. I mean, without them, you may have had this infection smolder on for months. You might have even died from it. Okay, reality here. I hate to be the one to break this news to you, but maybe all those treatments you've had have been unnecessary. A study reported in the 2012 Journal of the American Medical Association compared a typical antibiotic regimen with placebo for treatment of sinusitis. Now these were patients with full-blown sinusitis that had been present for at least seven days. And what were the results? Well, after 10 days, 80% of the antibiotic group were much improved. In the placebo group, in 10 days, 80% of the patients were much improved. In other words, there was no difference. And there's also no difference in the relapses or the amount of the over-the-counter medicines that the patients took. So you might ask, well, so what? What's the downside? Well, I'll tell you what the downside is. By taking an antibiotic, you run the risk of developing an allergy to it. Then in the future, when you really need it, you won't be able to take it. Now the broad spectrum antibiotics, like the ones they use to treat sinus infections, they blow a hole in your intestinal flora, leaving space for pathogens. Now some of these pathogens have become resistant to antibiotics and they can be deadly, like Clostridium difficile. Studies at Stanford University have shown the floral hole that antibiotics induced with just one course will not have repaired itself even after a year. So the evidence says that antibiotics usually don't help. And what you would do otherwise, or if you get a placebo, you'll recover in the same amount of time. Now when my patients come to me with sinusitis, I advise inhaling eucalyptus or possibly tea tree oil, reducing sugar in your diet. That includes fruit juices because sugar feeds fungus and that's one of the major components of chronic sinusitis which you don't want to develop. Now the supplement N-acetylcysteine reduces the thickness of the mucus. Vitamin C, echinacea, Jewish penicillin, which is chicken super bone broth, and sun exposure. Other treatments, colloidal silver, oregano oil, enzymes, and garlic can also help. Now with this program for my patients, I find that 80% of my patients are better after 10 days. Fight the easy way, which really isn't easier, and the evidence show it doesn't really work, and that's taking antibiotics. This is Dr. G. Thanks so much for watching.